Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. I'm here today to demo the Yealink 33G phone. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go directly down our help sheet here. So if you do not have this help sheet, I suggest you go in the comments, click the link, go out to the website and download that help sheet. That way you can follow right along. The very first thing on the help sheet is making a phone call. Um, you're gonna pick up the handset, you're gonna dial 10 digits. You do not have to dial nine, you do not have to dial one. You'll notice up here at the top, there is no such thing as line one or line two. Um, so just simply pick up the handset, dial 10 digits, and you'll get out. Ending a call, pretty self-explanatory. Hang up the handset, or if you're on speakerphone, just press the speakerphone button and it'll hang up the call for you. Redial and instant redial. This is, I'm gonna cover both of these together, but this is the redial button. So if you press that redial button, it's going to take you to the last called numbers. And if you press it again, which is that second option, that instant redial, it's gonna dial the last number that you dialed. Hold and park, I like to cover these together. Um, so just think hold is personal, park is public. So when I say hold is personal, if you're on a phone call and you have to go get a document, but you're coming back to that phone call, you yourself, you're not transferring it to someone else, something like that, then when you're on a, hand, when you're on a phone call, these buttons change to different buttons. They're called soft keys. So one of those will be hold. You'll press the hold button, hang up the handset, go and do whatever you need to do, come back to the call, and you'll press that same button again. I believe when you come back to the call, it'll say resume call. It won't say hold anymore, it'll just say resume call. When you do that, you can pick it back up and proceed and go and do what you need to do. Park, on the other hand, is a little bit different. It is a public hold. So if you're on a phone call, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have a number of parks over here. Your company may have three, they may have five, they may have one. If you have parks, if they're green, that means they are available. So just simply press the park key. It's gonna put that call in the public parking lot. That park key will light up red on everyone's phone inside the company. You can go to anybody else's desk and then pick up that phone call by just simply pressing the park key. Um, so we commonly see this used for receptionists uh, or just someone that's wanting to transfer a call. They'll put them in park, they'll call that other individual and say, hey, so-and-so's on park two or park one, whatever it is. Intercom, if you would like to call someone's office uh, or call another extension inside of your company, just simply dial the number, but uh, the internal extension. But if you would like to intercom directly into their speakerphone to say, hey, Jim, are you in there? You know, something like that. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit star five zero and then whatever Jim's or whoever's extension you're trying to call, you're gonna dial that and when you do it, it'll go directly into the speakerphone uh, of the other person's phone. Transfer and transfer directly to voicemail. I'll cover these together. Let's say you're on a phone call and again, the soft keys are what we're, gonna, what we're gonna use here because there's not a physical transfer key. So you're on a phone call, you're gonna press transfer, you're gonna dial whoever's extension it is. Let's say it's Jim and let's say he's at extension 100. So transfer 100 and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to hit the transfer key again. That'll again be one of these soft keys. Hitting the transfer the second time is what actually pushes the transfer through. Transfer directly to voicemail. Uh, let's say Jim's in a meeting. You know Jim's in a meeting. You don't wanna actually ring his phone. You wanna drop the caller right in his voicemail box. Simply, you're on the call, press transfer, dial seven, and then whatever Jim's extension is, in this case it would be 100, and then again press transfer. So adding the seven in front of the extension tells the phone system, don't ring the phone, go directly to voicemail. Conference, again, we're gonna use the soft keys. You're on a phone call, you wanna conference in someone internal or someone external, just press the, the CONF button, C-O-N-F, it stands for conference. It'll give you a dial tone, dial whatever extension or outside number you would like, 
Then when that person answers, press the conference key again and it will actually, you'll actually see on the screen the two calls merge. Check in voicemail remotely. This isn't as big of a thing anymore because the majority of our clients have voicemail to email enabled. But if you don't, if you call into your main number and you get to the auto attendant, press the star key and it'll ask you what is your extension. You'll type in the extension and your password and you'll be off to the races. D&D button, that is right here. So if you press it, what's going to happen is up in the top, it's going to show a red circle with uh, a line through it there. That stands for do not disturb. That means your phone will not ring, but you can still make phone calls. Um, so if someone calls you internally, it's going to go directly to your voicemail. Or if somebody tries to transfer a call to you, it goes directly to your voicemail. But if you pick up the handset, you can call out just fine. So just be aware of that. And if you, so if your phone's not getting any phone calls, press the do not disturb button key again, and it'll come off. Volume, it's down here. I like to call that situational volume uh, because whatever your current situation is, is what it will change. So if it's the phone sitting here like this, it's gonna change the ringer. If you're on the actual phone call and you can't hear the person, you use the same volume keys. So at this time, the, at the bottom is some support information. If you have support needs, definitely look there. But I want you to flip over. Um, so if you're getting this phone, and this is, the, this is brand new phone sitting on your desk, and you need to set it up, the back part of this sheet shows you what you need to do. Uh, it's called setting up my new phone. If you press the message key, which is right here, it's gonna ask you what your password is. For Comtech, our default password is 1212. When you enter that, it's gonna say, please say your name. Please say your name into that, if you don't mind. Um, that is how a back-end piece of the system works, so don't skip that part. Um, so say your name, hit the pound key, it's gonna ask you for your greeting, when you say your greeting, uh, which is just your voicemail greeting, say that and then hit the pound key again. Um, and at the bottom of this sheet, we do go over how to change your voicemail password, which we recommend, as well as changing your name and changing your greeting. We recognize not everybody gets it on the first try uh, when you're trying to record a voicemail greeting. Overall, that's the entire sheet. Again, down at the very bottom, you have our support email, which is support at comtechnc.com, uh, or just go out to comtechnc.com and you can submit a ticket there. Uh, all right, that should do it for the Yealink 33G.